Howdy there, YouTube. My name is Moomoo Tree, and today we're playing the Stanley Parable. Um, well, without further ado, I guess we're gonna start now? Okay, let's walk. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. I know you're there! Okay, anyways, uh... I totally got lost there. Me. <gasps> Wait. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. How is this the th ah! uh. Did it? Did I ruin it? I earned an achievement. Oh. I think I broke the game. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Uh -huh. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into Yay. the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But <laughs> now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Probably. Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Yes. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. <laughs> well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here continue with the game or just sit in this spot forever and ever cheers <laughs> oh i think this goes without say i freaking love this game <laughs> i have like tears in my eyes this is hilarious oh my gosh am i am i able to click this again i want to click this I guess, I guess I have to restart manually. Uh, okay. So, escape. Begin the game again, I guess. Alright. Let's go back and click yes. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. How insightful, Stanley. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Shoot, come on. Come on, I need to click yes. Come on. Eh. There we go. 
At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the all map right, all right. until we heard he heard this, this narration heard this and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Just hurry up and he get to the He then praised toys. the game for its insightful and witty commentary you know into I the was nature of video here. game structure and its examination of structural I'm narrative tropes. I'm going to punch tropes. you, narrator. So, now that you're here, all what right. do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Yes! Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? It's so white! Okay, I'm racist. over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yes, I'm totally sick of this. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. Sass. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. So I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain it. There once was a man named Stanley. <laughs> who people considered so manly. <laughs> but the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. <laughs> what Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. <laughs> which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> you too will become quite unbearable. I love it. Let's see how long this goes. Let's see if he stops. Maybe it's just to keep on going until I restart. I very much rather prefer this than the other one. The other one you just kept talking. This one has nice music. Give it a minute. If it if it just keeps going, then I'll restart. So I'm still standing here. Narrator. Hello. Narrator. Narrator. Hello. Well, crap. All right, let's go and try for another ending because this episode's special. You get three endings. <sighs> okay. All right. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Thank 
At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? I'm just gonna restart because I was like... Ugh. The reason why I just restarted is because, like, you heard the noise. Like, it, it wasn't just in my ears. I was like, what? Did something happen since I already got both? But I don't know. Let's just continue. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started, and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Alright. I should have put... I should have on busy on Skype. Hold on. I'll stop right here. Hold on. Alright. Now... Um, however many times people message me, I won't hear it. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Screw you! I'm going on the one on the this right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I want to stop by the employee lounge. It was so pretty. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Well, there seems to be a lot of papers flown about. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah, it's completely worth it. Don't you know my At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Thanks. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Yes. It's exactly why everyone left. Because I was creepy. One person in the workplace. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> You're never going to send me a message. Just wait a little bit. They have a good amount of space in between dialogues. He probably would have interrupted me by now, I guess, yeah. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Okay, um... Mm, there's the meeting room across the way. You can see that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we're going this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I know. I know. I'm, I'm super awesome at following directions. Like, super awesome. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Penalty, penalty for misuse of cargo lift. A thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, five thousand dollars. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. 
I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. Yellow! What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Mm, no. You really want me dead, and I know it. Danger. Danger everywhere. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Should we walk through the blue door? We're gonna walk through the blue door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I got it. Stanley walked through the blue door, right? That's what you're saying. Stanley walked through the blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Stanley walked through the blue door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. All right. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> Every time I get a pause moment, I'm gonna like keep restarting my recording because ten minutes, you know. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'm gonna give it a solid four because like that's part of the experience like you like you want to walk through the other doors like you want to walk through one of the doors and he might say the door to the farthest to the left Stanley walked through and it's like oh okay but what about those other two but mm, at the same time yeah I'm just gonna give it a solid point. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. Yes. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Yeah. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Yay. Let's take a look. Uh, the Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. There's the fort first. Uh, total doors open, doors attempt. Did you know that 21.3% of players skip the intro sequence? You. <laughs> oh, I need to read this in post. Oh, it's fantastic. There's so many stuff happening at once. 
Oh wait, maybe I... Error, friends list is empty. <laughs> oh, only the worst 3% are true. The blue door, 98.9% are... Oh. oh, this is fantastic. A dead rat. <laughs> is my superior. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this game. I'm gonna walk through this door because he wants me to walk through the door. Ah, oh, crap. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, yes. honest answers, please. Yes. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No. Perfect. Let me boot it up. <laughs> In this game, oh, no. the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Right. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You know what? Screw you, baby. Walk into the fire. Walk into it. I'm done with you. You heartless bastard. Thank you. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Despite you, it's the because latter, that was I don't loud know what and annoying. To do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At it's last, the one thing crap. you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell yes. me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. It's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. <laughs> ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Thank Isn't you. it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything yes 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 come along stanley we have to go mining oh my gosh this is awesome because i have to go down there oh my it looks like it's going to get a bit dark have you brought a light no Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. I love this game. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Uh, it's Portal. It's Portal. Can I flush the toilet? Please tell me I can flush the toilet. No, I can't flush the toilet. No. The game is a lie. You're coming with me. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Yep. Oh yeah. Genius. Check it out. I am pretty smart. Okay. Let me tell you. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. What? I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the ex I honestly did not think that was gonna happen. Oh, jeez. I guess eventually I would have had to fall down. Please read your experience. Oh my gosh. I broke the game! Oh my gosh, this is giving me a real Portal vibe, this area. Like, Portal 2. Oh gosh. Where am I now? Alright. I broke the game! Oh no, I broke the game! Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, we broke the game. Alright, back to my office. I think. Alright. Okay, apparently that's not what I'm supposed to do. Oh crap. What is- I that? wonder what he found. Oh. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. But the end is never Very the end. Very soon. I can wait. Oh my gosh, my mind is... Ugh. My mind just went... Exploded all over the place. I need to clean up my brain matter right now. And I'm just gonna leave the episode there. Because you already saw, like, three endings. So, um... Although I'm curious... You know what? We're gonna go back and we're gonna go through the red door because I'm just that curious. Um, 
I don't know if it's gonna work. But let's do it. Let's go through the red door. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Yes. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Right. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I went this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Right. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone yeah. you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm gonna wait until there's the arrow. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the... Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and oh. running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Uh-oh. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> I could stay here forever. This place is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! Now all we need is rainbows. Alright, let's go down. No, wait. Where are you going? I'm walking away. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. I'm sorry, but apparently I'm supposed to try to kill myself. No! Don't try to kill yourself oh. in real life. Thank God you lived. No. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Because, uh, I'm Stanley. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. So pretty. Let's go back to the stairs. Wow. 
my god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? He sounds so legitimately sad, but I know I have to do this. I, at least I think I have to do this. Oh my gosh, I'm so conflicted. Ugh, I'm just gonna throw myself off the stairs. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. Are you so I guess sad? that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Oh my gosh, he's so sad. And, but I think this is the only way I can... Eh. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh my god. He was so sad. <laughs> Why do I have a bar across my screen? Anyway, I think that's a glitch from that ending or something. I don't know. But that's it for the Stanley Parable today. If you liked it, subscribe. If not, a welcome back another time. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Mwah. Kisses.